Hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another character impression. This time we have Jiki man. Jiki! The newest full moment break Zodiac. It's finally here. Even though she was supposed to be here last month. Cause you know, side games can't get their shit up on time. First things first, her Ogi is now changed to Pandemosium man. Activate second slot skill. That one? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Auto cast fill effect, so cool! <laughs> wow! Actually, full auto, man! God damn! Oh, damn, GK, dude. Hell yeah. Full auto GK, man. Alright, that's cool. Alright, what is the next one? 90, 90, 90, 90. 90 is this one? Queen of Rats! <laughs> Queen of Jerry, man! Jerry's queen. <laughs> uh, where is it? All allies gain dispel cancel upon charge attack. Nani top tier for Guild War. <laughs> oh wait, this got updated as well. R Jerry Rhythm, dude. <laughs> At level ninety, extend all allies' height by one turn. Activates twice when and when Jiki's height is at four. Wow, so much raw damage. Very cool. So cool. Alright, and then we have... Uh, 95. Okay, so this one's 95. Oh, after level 95, when Utopia is already active. And then when you cast this, it gets upgraded. And then it will be Utopia Plus. False attack is no longer boosted. When Utopia is active, skill changes to Eccentric Parade. Okay. Eccentric Parade. All allies gain or dark allies gain 20% dark bonus dark damage echo and 2020 damage mitigation. Restore 10% of all dark allies HP. 2020. Wow. Cool. That sounds very nice for Guild War. <laughs> and then we have level 100. Rat shine and rainbows. Twelve turns cooldown. Dark allies dodge all attacks from foes one time. Attack twice each turn can only be used when all allies is hype is at four or higher. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> She's pretty good for full auto. <laughs> really good for full auto. All right, cool. Uh, let me see if I can get a better one. Nope. Jiki, dude. Hmm. Man, that looks like shit, though. Damn, I don't want double attack, man. Double attack looks so ass. <laughs> Ah uh, man, damn! I want dodge rate though, but then again, I guess we don't really need dodge rate anymore, right? But damn, I do not want double attack. Hmm. Yeah, healing might be actually nice for her, huh? Yeah, I don't think she really needs dodge rate anymore. Oh, uh, this one's shit though. Stats rolls are pretty ass as well. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I guess. I mean, she has a pretty decent earring at least. Oh my god, actual ass. Am I burning all my red rings on her? Hmm. Hmm. I... Hmm. I mean, skill cap is still kinda nice though. Cause she technically can still dispel every fucking turn. Hmm. Do I wanna prioritize the... Uh, what's that healing over skill cap though? No, right? I don't think so. Skill cap is still pretty damn good though. Because she technically is going to hit every turn too. Because she's dodging. Hmm. But damn though, fucking skill cap is too low. It's literally the lowest roll. <coughs> yeah, I think it's still better than that anyway. Healing is not really... What's this again? Oh! 
Now I need that because this is going to be there all the time, right? I think I can remove one CA. I don't think I really need CA damage that much. So I think I'll remove one of this, one of this, and one of this. I think that should be enough. How much is the stats? Yeah, still seems fine. Uh, let's try again. Hmm. Hmm. We can make do with this. Hmm. We can make do with this. Okay. That's that's a pretty nice ring for now. All right. I'm not spending too much to ring for you, but uh, I will get you to level nine at least. Okay, be good. She's ready for Kanga. Oki! <laughs> Oki time, dude! Oki! <laughs> Wait, do I want Fidel? Wait, does it work with Fidel? No, right? <laughs> uh, she doesn't work with Fidel, isn't it? Because it's that... Mm. Yeah, she... It's, no, it shouldn't work because they're both technically a field effect. So, oh no, rip Fidel. Fidel has been shoved aside. F. Oh well. Six is gonna get back in there. Oh, I did wrong six. <laughs> Where's my six, dude? Where's the OG six, man? Not that shitty one. Where the fuck is six? Is he all the way in the front page? Oh my god, actually in the front page, man, dude. God damn, my boy, my boy six is back in action. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Fuck ES. I'm not gonna even bother with that shit. Who gives a fuck about ES? <laughs> Horus? Horus. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay. Full auto, let's see. <laughs> I, you know, you know, actually I feel like side games need to patch that shit in, you know? The the one where it automatically casts the skill even though you cannot use it. That's actually quite annoying, isn't it? I kind of wish they actually just don't cast that thing at all. Because it kind of slows things down a little bit. And it kind of accumulates quite a bit too. Yeah, indie company though. Shit. Alright, let's see. Is she turning on the thing? Wow, look at that! Auto fuel effect, man! Poggers! <laughs> Good for full auto, man! Look at that! Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Auto cast that skill! Good for full auto, man! Look at that shit! Actually good for a full auto, man. Perfect for good for full auto now. Because you don't cast that shield in turn, uh, that, sh that skill in turn one. Look at that, man. Damn, son. She's so strong, dude. I think the only downside if with her is that without the likes of Fidel, right? Because you know, if you're using both Fidel and Leech, right? You're immediately gonna cap defend down very easily. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, now, now it's like a little bit different. <laughs> Hi, he's pretty busted. Hype gives you a lot of raw damage. So if the boss has has really high defense, Hype is actually very, very helpful. But the problem with Hype is that it's dispellable. So, with as you just need to have your dispel cancel up, and you should be good. 
For for GKM. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let's go! <laughs> there we have height four, man. Look at that. Ah shit, boys. They have double strike whole team, boys. Oh, MC's gonna. Oh my god, the Ogi! <laughs> Chad, watch the Ogi action, man. <laughs> Damn, my god, look at them, dude. Wow. She looks really strong because she is. Just looking on paper, she's actually really strong already. She's good for Guild War. This is 100% insane for Guild War. You have Dispel Cancel and Dispel every fucking turn. <laughs> how- How do you not want that? And she fucking heals, dude! <laughs> yeah, consistent hype 4 as well, yeah. But you need to- Okay! <laughs> yeah. Damage mitigation as well? Shit, man. She's really fucking good. Crop's favorite character. <laughs> He's not even gonna use her, man. What do you mean? He's just gonna burst that shit down. He's not gonna use her. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Fidel, man. Fidel actually gonna get benched. Fidel is actually useless now. Already got power creep, man, Fidel. Eh. You're probably better off using her in burst instead. Yeah, unless Guild Wars uh, V2, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, look at that. She's she's like constantly the uh, what's that nuking everything. It's crazy. Look at that, man. Because she's dodging every turn. Yeah, cause it, it, it's cause of the hype, man. The hype literally makes everyone's damage super consistent. It doesn't matter. Hype four is insane. You know that. <laughs> hype four is like what two hundred percent or some shit extra damage. Damn, look at that! It's so strong, dude. <laughs> I always say that it's like for for especially like newer players, right? Who have problems capping. If you have any form of characters that gives uh, consistent hype, it's actually really, really good for you. So if you if you think about it, she's literally one of the best characters to have for Dark if you're starting out. Because of that. <laughs> yeah, the hype strat, you're using like fucking uh, Iodos and, uh, and uh, Anturia or some shit back in the day. Yeah, she dispels twice too, yeah. That's why you- wait, that's why she- he has two nukes instead of one, yeah. That's why... Pretty insane, man. She's- she's literally the character for Guild War. <laughs> that- end- end of story. She's literally made for Guild War. See, that's two hits. 10 million, wow. I'm actually still at full HP. <laughs> I'm still at full HP. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I mean, her damage obviously can't get anywhere close to you know who, right? But shit. <laughs> it's so obvious, though. It's really nice. I mean, if you do not have 6, there's still- I mean, the thing is, there's so many options now instead of 6 anyway. 
I would still consider six just because he can he can uh, counter a lot, and because like in Guild War you're gonna see a lot of triggers anyway. So at six is just gonna, brrr, brrr, brrr. <laughs> you know, it just accumulates so much. It's better off just using his ass. But if you if you're not having him at 150, you're better off just using some other other ones. You know, Hellmel. Uh, what's her name? The uh, uh Madamel, the uh, Magisa, the uh. What's the other new character recently? <laughs> what was the new character recently? I mean, yeah, it's still kind of sad that you have to shove uh, Fidel aside for her. <laughs> it's actually a lot better to use her over Fidel. I think it's only in V2 that maybe you want to use Fidel, right? Because, you know, you can reset like crazy. But uh, other than that, yeah, you probably want to... Because the thing is, you want to use... You want to use Jiki because of the the sheer amount of dispels that she that you it's like put it this way you need a lot of dispels you want dispel cancel use her I wouldn't really say that you use her for the hype you use her because you want the dispel cancel and the dispels it's insane because you're double dispelling and you can guarantee to get hype for so easily anyway Maybe you need, yeah, you probably need a little bit of ramping, but like after, like maybe like four, three, four turns, you're pretty much capped anyway, so who cares? I mean, we all knew for the fact that she was already usable before this, and now she's even stronger, so that's actually really fucking nice. And I remember that I was really hoping this will get auto cast in some way if, like, uh, when she gets full limit break. It actually happened! <laughs> It actually gets auto cast now, man, in full auto. It's fucking crazy nice, dude. And it's also perfect in full auto because, like, this doesn't get cast at all in full auto until you Ogi. So, in full auto, the moment you Ogi, this gets auto pressed. So, it's like, it, it aligns nicely for it. Honestly, her force skills to me is, is, is it looks kind of like whatever, though. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the first skill seems like whatever. It's a nice plus, but sure, you know, I, I don't think it really matters too much, this thing. It's like, yeah, you know, get uh, you get all dodge and double strike, sure. That's just uh, uh, an extra spicing on top. The real shit is that she just gets like extra dispel, dispel cancel. Like, bruh. And then as long as she's dodging, right? As long as she's dodging, she's just consistently extending the hype nonstop. And then you can technically get hype anyway when you have the field effect up. Right? When you get the field effect, you're just gonna get hype anyway. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I still think for the most part, you... Probably still want Fidel. For like, standard V2 stuff or whatever. I feel like Fidel is definitely still better in some way in terms of DPS. I think DPS Fidel is still probably better. It's just that you only use her instead of Fidel if it's like V1. And if you need like the dispels, you know, if you just really want the dispels, you, you want the dispels and you know, consistent damage with the hype and shit. You know the really crazy thing about it though? You know why? Think about it, right? Think about it this way. If you have consistent hype 4, right? And then you have dispel cancel, right? Every time you ogi, she ogies. If the boss has some fucking bullshit defense thing hiding literally at the left side of the, the, the thing or whatever, it does nothing. It actually does nothing because you hype four. <laughs> you have hype four, dude. Hype four is 100% extra attack, man. 100% unique modifier attack mod, dude. On top of all the sh extra shit that we have. But yeah, end of the day, she's really, really strong because it's very easy to ramp her up. The only problem is that you have to OK, you know? <laughs> and then she has like dispel cancel, she can double dispel, she can uh, get a lot of hostility up, and she dodges a lot. She's providing a lot of uh, dodge in a way as well because of that, and then if you're using uh, Ray to swap with her, you, she gets even more dodge, so that's even better, yeah? And yeah, you get like a lot of damage mitigation out of that too, so it's actually really nice. But the damage mitigation is only by casting this again, so yeah. 
But still, it's really good though. 2020 damage. Yep. 2020. Jerry is... Uh, Jerry approves of this. That's it. God knows when is the next video I'm going to put out. Because I uh, got to log in. Got to log in, dude. <laughs>